Well, it's evening and they're out for their evening stroll. And I did turn the solar on. I'm going to leave that on from now on, except for when I go in there. Because I had one poking her head out here trying to get some, reach for some other grass on this side. And no, I haven't gotten my lawnmower out of there yet. <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow. I was too tired. They're doing good, though. You notice, though, after a few days, they get a little further and further out. Some of them spin all the way to the end out there. I think one of them earlier might have gotten close to the fence. See, they're flying off, and then the others follow. <laughs> so. But for now, this is how I'm going to do it. Just keep an eye on them. We have a lot of hawks around here, and I mean, believe it or not, since I put them fake owls up there, <laughs> I ain't seen that over here, uh, not above. I used to hover over here. The neighbors have goats and chickens and horses and <laughs> hawks fly everywhere. And I closed their door so I don't have to go back out there and close it tonight. I mean, their chicken door's open, of course. I don't have anything to pull down to close it at night, which I don't really need it. I've never had one on there. It stays open. They just, they go inside and they stay in there. <laughs> They're doing good, though. Yep, I guess it works. <laughs> that's what they do if one touches it and runs. I know that's not funny, but they all follow. I'm sorry, girls. It's for your own protection. Yeah, I'm sorry. You'll figure it out. Yeah, you'll figure it out. And something's already going back out there to eat, so. It doesn't stay on their brain very long. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, gonna go day by day. I think I may, you know, keep them in this, help protect them some because when I had chickens before, they were just all over this place. I mean, just anywhere and everywhere, and I couldn't keep an eye on them for the hawks. And like I said in the past, I've had I've had one hawk get one of my hands, one of the white leghorns. So I'm not getting no more white chickens. I'm just sticking with one breed. <laughs> Old faithful Rhode Island Reds, huh, girls? Yeah. Leave my lawnmower alone. <laughs> That's not a perch. You'll slide right off of there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check on them later on. As soon as they go in, I just come out here and shut the door. I did make them a little bit of oats today. They're not quite, they don't have like that adult craving yet, adult hen craving yet for stuff. So I'm just introducing just a little bit here and there. And a lot of times they'll just leave it, peck at it a little bit, and then leave it. So they're not quite there. They're four months. Yeah. Oh, we got one out there all by herself. <laughs> Must be the one at the low, lower end of the totem pole. I'll even bring treats out and, and try to feed her, and she won't get them if the other ones don't want her to. 
<laughs> Somebody's got to be at the bottom. Huh, baby girl? <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave him here. Come out when it gets dark. Shut the door. Easy peasy. <laughs>